All right, video time. We're gonna be talking about a 48 volt battery. This is an update on the 48 volt uh, custom box that we're making for the LEV 60 cells, right? So done a few mods, uh, revisions to the design, and we're gonna go through them here uh, just a bit. Okay, so here's the first uh, revision on this plate right here, which is the compression plate that go on both sides. Uh, we fold it up on the top and on the bottom because these were flexing a little bit. And so adding another bend on the top makes it a lot more rigid, right? Even though we're using aluminum uh, and it's light, which is we want to keep this light because the batteries already weight a lot. So also the other thing that we did is here, we added all these holes here that match the French cleat that we have decided to use. And so now when you put it in there, the same volts that will attach this to the case here will also hold the French cleat. Uh, and so that is gonna be, you know, less hardware and easier to install. Second change that we did is now we've used these little caps. We found them in China and uh, they're really cheap. I think it's like $5 worth of caps. And these go over the little, um, the, the 10 millimeter nuts. Are they 10 millimeter? I think they're 10 millimeter. And so when you put the top over here, the case, the, you know, this case right here, then these will, can you actually support the case there? And so if you f happen to flip this battery upside down, well, this, all this rubber here is gonna hit and it's not gonna short out, right? Um, so that's another one of the changes. Now, let's look at what we got going on here with the front end, right? So obviously I'm gonna try and use six gauge wire right uh 200 uh degree wire so this i don't know if it can handle the bms is rated at 100 amps so we're gonna do this i know all the ones that are coming out of the factory they have two conductors uh but they're thinner than this i think there's seven or eight gauge i tried 10 gauge and that's not enough to do continuous 100 amps so then we have to go up right so i don't know if we're gonna do the uh you know two conductors or we can get away with doing one six gauge because the runs are small here so we're going to keep an eye on the temperature we'll do some tests but right now i have it wired as with one um then uh i move the uh so as you can see this bus bar here pcb thing um it's a different one i used to have the, all these connectors right here right and so they was kind of in the way there so i just move everything to the side here and here's the connector then I cut those in there and then I just wired up. So now it's a simple connection going from the bottom over there to the top, a couple of zip ties, keeps it nice and neat. Uh, now these are uh, 17 uh, balance leads and there's 18 wires. So that means you have to put two of them together. And some of these BMSs, they do it easily. They just leave it out the end. So you just tie in whatever's left. But on this one, it's not, it's somewhere in the middle. It's like, I think it's exactly in the middle. So the only way to find out which ones you have to tie in together is by contacting the, the, the seller and then they sent you a little diagram and then you look at it and then it's like, oh, okay, that's where it's at. So that's what I did here and that's where it's at. Um, other than that, what else do we got? Oh, these uh, things that I have here. Now these are the the uh, terminals that I've chosen to do. And the reason why I'm doing this is because these are cheap and everything else that you can buy over there, one of them, it's, it's uh, you have to use double like this so that you can have a, a, a cross, right? Like a, one is the power coming in and then the, if you're, the other one daisy chains to more of these because usually what you end up doing is using multiple of these batteries. So you need two of these. Uh, and so the ones that are available in the market, they're either kind of not nasty you know the cheap ones and the, the nice ones are really really expensive i mean like expensive it comes out to be like 40 bucks just to have some uh some terminals there right and so i'm i'm trying to see if this is gonna work this is just pcb stuff this is a couple cents pcbs and these are really cheap like a dollar a dollar twenty dollar fifty each i think right so now you're looking at less than five dollars worth of those now it might be too much work <laughs> to, to put this together because that's like a bunch of pieces that you put together and then you got to solder it here now you got to use time to you know gotta wait till this big beefy like copper cable and then all these things heat up 
So time is money. And so this might end up being more expensive than just buying the expensive ones and then put them in there because you can put them really easily, right? They already come put together. Uh, we will try a run of these and see how well they work. And then if we could actually do them for less money than having the fancy ones, right? So, so that's where it's at. Uh, I have the... Now the front here, I have uh, worked out, reworked out all the dimensions so that there, everything kind of works. And so I think this is uh, a nice one. I added the switch here because we didn't have a switch before and now we found a nice spot there. Um, other than that, now we just have to put it together and then put the cover and then put the handles and see how this feels. This is already attached to the box there. I have several screws attached to the thing. Yeah, I think in the final version, we're gonna have more screws in there, but right now I just kinda wanna put it together. Uh, so let's do that. Let's finish it up. Let's uh, connect this cable to the battery there and then put the cables and then put the top and then we'll, we'll pick it up from there. Right, another one of these things that uh, we kind of figured out right now is how to connect all the uh, or how to position all the install the temperature sensors. So right now, all I did was just put uh, Captain tape there, and then Captain tape the edges there. Now we put you know one here, one there, one there, and right here, so they're kind of spread out through all the cells, at least every quadrant of the cells. Uh, we're gonna see if that works. Uh, but there's also that glue, that white glue. Glue, if you know what it is, if you know where to get it, put it in the comments here. We could also get that. I have some stuff that I ordered, but it was really hard to get. And so I need something that's readily available so that we can recommend people to use that. Now also maybe to run these in the future, maybe I'll make some little holes so that you can easily put like zip ties in here or something so that um, we can do this and, and you know, it doesn't look shoddy and stuff. So. Let's connect the main positive cable now and see if it starts up. Boom, we just connected it. And now, oh, look at that. We got lights. Uh, there we go. Well, it's blinking. I don't know what that means, but it does need to be charged. That is for sure. Uh, he, let's see, does this work? Huh. Does the thing work? I don't know if the power button works. We're gonna have to look into that. It's connected. All right, we're gonna have to look into that power button and why it's not responding in there, but let's let's put the cover on this thing and just try it out. For <laughs> And there we go. Look at that box. The only thing we have to do is paint it. And of course, you know, this is this this hole right here is for the one that's hanging on the wall, right? And this face is for that. The only difference is gonna be this screen is gonna be over here, and here is gonna have a, you know, this is where the cables are gonna go in and out. Well, actually, we're right here. So maybe this is just gonna be covered. Um yeah, here's uh here's the one that's made for, for that. And then uh, these are the handles that I come up with. Got to figure out how to redo these handles because they didn't, uh, they're too sharp. So we had to figure that out, but we have to make that because you have to be able to put them from the front and there was nothing that I could find. Um, also this, it's weird. It's not working, but maybe it's just because the battery is dead. Let's see here. So when you put, yeah, see, uh, it's 47 volts divided by 16. That's like below three volts, right? So I think this battery is like, it's dead. Like there's zero state of charge right here. So what we have to do 
is charge it up, see if it charges, and then just run through the BMS. There might have to be some setup that has to go on through the BMS and stuff. But uh, as far as the uh, mechanical here, I think I'm pretty much done. We're gonna, I'm gonna try to paint that one and see how good we can do it. And then we can put it, hang a few of these in the wall. I think I have like five of these boxes now. We'll get to see how that goes and then any of the changes, uh, revisions to the thing. And then I guess we can order the first batch of these. Um, the only thing that is gonna be really painful is ordering the BMSs. I have uh, a few of them on order right now and they just take forever, right? And they're expensive. So it's not like I could just order, you know, a <laughs> hundred of them uh, because it would be a lot of money. Um, and I don't even know if we're gonna be selling these, but I will just play by ear. We'll order a few. We'll put a few of these kits up there. And then if, it, if you guys do decide uh, that you like this idea and stuff and you wanna buy it, then we'll order more and then we'll order more and more and then we'll eventually we'll stock them and sort of stuff, right? So this is where we're at like this. Now this is a full-fledged battery, pretty pretty common to what's out there. It's got every uh, feature than all the commercially available batteries have, 48 volt batteries, right? And so, I'm hoping that I'm gonna be able to offer these at, uh, at a discount so that you can, you know, you can be incentivized to buy the kit, buy the cells, and then put it together yourself. And then we'll see how we can ship a few of these, build a few of these in-house here, and then ship them out. All right, so here's a quick little update. I'm trying to charge this pack and it wasn't letting me. And so then I decided, because I've been messing around with these so much, I kind of broke this little screen here uh, a while back. But I just, you know, because I'm still working on the mechanical of this, then I just put the screen here, but I have a good one here. And so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna check to see if the cells are right, right? So what you do, this is the cool thing about using this BMS, and any of these types of BMSs, right? Um, check it out. So pack info, you click enter. So it's 47, it's kind of low. It's like, it's like zero state of charge, right? So it's low, but it should allow you to charge it. It's not critically, it's not like overly discharged. So what you do is you go down, capacity, temperature, cell info, enter. So then here it lets you see like all the cells. Cell one is at three volts, cell two is at three volts, cell three is at three volts, and four, three volts, so that's all fine. Uh, you go down. Five through eight is fine. Nine and 10, they're low, look at that. 2.3 and 2.8 volts. So that might be the problem. That's the reason why this BMS doesn't let me charge this. Um, and then 13 and 16, they're, they're fine, they're three. These are brand new cells, but I don't know if I made a mistake. I think I just, I absolutely did not pay attention when I was building this because again, I'm trying to figure out the mechanical, not really the thing. I just kind of got excited and then just built this whole thing because I'm, I'm out to that point, right? So I think I might've grabbed those cells and those were like the ones that I used to ch check capacity maybe, I don't know. But I'm just going to, so I can get going here, I'm just going to quickly charge those two two three volts and then once everything is balanced then i'm hoping that the bms is going to let me actually charge through here uh, if not then we'll figure it out what the the reason is it is it is blinking run here which is um it seems like it, well it's basically saying like it's not it, there's no alarm but it's blinking which means that and then there's also a reset here if that doesn't work then i'll press it and if not then i guess i'll ask the the uh the seller of the BMS to see if there's a troubleshoot uh, procedures, you know, to see why this BMS is not, doesn't seem to be working on these brand new cells. Now, I know that this is a unbalanced pack, so let me balance it and then we'll go from there. Here I'm charging at uh, 18 amps, uh, just to three volts, that one, and then we'll charge the other one using a variable uh, voltage and power. Um, power supply, right? These are available on Amazon all over the place. So these are super easy to use to charge uh, batteries, balance them, and you know, just very, very, very useful tool to have. 
By the way, I just got the shelves or a sample shelf for this box here. This used to be a Tesla supercharger and we're gonna, we just gutted it and we're gonna put batteries in here. So I'm gonna turn this into a battery box that we can potentially actually put this outside. We can bolt it to the ground, put it in there and then put a plug and an inverter on the other side. And then we could have like a kind of a standalone charger, you know? Um, so anyways, I'm, this is gonna be a video on the whole project. But what I wanna talk to you is like, I got the shelf and I got it. There's a, 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 a an actual more affordable material and it's um, galvanized steel. And this stuff is really nice. Look, it's shiny. And because it's galvanized, obviously it doesn't corrode. That's the whole point about the galvanizing process, right? So I think I'm gonna order the battery boxes with this material. We can save some money and you could potentially leave this like this because it's galvanized, so it doesn't rust. Um, so it could save you the time and money and effort of painting and stuff. And I think you could also paint this. I'm gonna Google this to see. I think there's no problem painting this. This is, this is just has a little bit of lead, I think, on top or something, so that it doesn't rust. That you know, it's a little bit more rust resistant. Uh, I'm hoping this is gonna work better. All right, here we go, and it's actually charging. Look at this uh, pack status. Here we go. 49 volts i'm charging at 10 amps charging at 10 amps through the thing here now the alarm was a little bit on for a little while but now it's off so that's all it was it was the the cells were mismatched there was below three volt cells in there and so i just charged them up a little bit now we're charging the entire pack uh nice this is gonna work so we'll i'll post this later once it's fully charged and then you know we'll test it all right, thank you for watching this video. Next video, we'll have these, uh, put them up on the wall and then kind of connect them, turn them on, put an inverter, and then uh, see how it goes. We also have to paint them because this is, this is getting rusty. Look at that. See? That's not good. Oh, one last thing. Let me show you where we're going to install uh, our first four of those boxes in here. This right here is our new warehouse. We're going to put, this is 24 foot high, so we can put a ton of battery uh, pallets up here, right? So you hit a rock there. Yeah. So we're uh, anchoring down the things in here. We just installed our LED lights, but here's where, where those batteries are gonna go. Uh, this right here is our emergency switch, manual transfer switch. We're gonna install this in here. Then we're gonna install an inverter, and then we're gonna put those packs in here. Maybe one on top of the other one. I don't know, we'll, we'll get to see that. But uh, yeah, the four, first four are gonna go here, and we're gonna test them on this building right here for our backup, all our backup needs. The weird thing about this building and all of these commercial uh, buildings that I have is that they have three-phase power, right? So. <sighs> Yeah, you basically have to like just use two of the faces, uh, and then that's how we're gonna use it. Because we, I don't have a big equipment here; it's just regular stuff. But if I ever needed to charge like a car fast, like put a, like a fast DC charger somehow, I'm ready to go. These will do uh, 100 amps each each leg, so 300 amps.